Okay, today I thought I'd show my workflow for using Accurate from Reillusion. Uh, the new downloadable app, the link will be in the description, obviously. Uh, how to use it to rig, quite simple. And I picked this character, Mix More character, uh, more, just simply because he looked very hard to rig. Didn't want to give Accurig an easy time. And then I'll be using Blender to correct any problems with the script. And then a script's link will be in the description. And then I'll be turning it into Unreal Engine 4 on the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. We have a reference image here. And whenever you hover over one, it'll show you where it should be placed. I'm going to turn on symmetry. I'm going to place it where it advises it, which is the center of the mouth and the neck over the face. Character like this is always going to be difficult because not typical proportions. That was the whole idea to give it a hard time and see how it does. Move on the hands. We have a finger selection here, and as we can see, it's only got four fingers, so I'm going to select four. So now we're more rigged. Uh, we can see there's already a problem here. I like to check the hands first. With all the sized hands, you can see it's done a very good job to say that he's so out of proportion. And obviously you can play around with the placement. If you want a change, you want to see something wrong. But it does a surprisingly good job. So once you're happy, don't forget you can actually simply go back and remove anything that you want. Once you're happy though, go to export. Unreal Engine, obviously, original and export. So here we are in Blender. First thing we want to do is fix this problem. We knew it was a problem, so we're just going to fix it. You can see it doesn't want to be weighted to the arm. We're just going to remove it from that. And I'm simply going to weight it to the head. You might want to spread some of the neck and stuff or whatever. You'd identify a problem down here as well somewhere. Is this? That's the problem. We'll remove it from that. We'll assign it to this. You can set the amount that you want it to weight. Like, I'll bring it down. Get rid of this just for now. Let's G by accent there because I want to have a look at these. Those look like a bit of bad weird painting in there. From here as well. Got the colour flash. There. Yeah. 
Who is to be expected with the legs so close? I find it easier to select than he when it's like this. Uh, now I'm going to swap the other side because we've obviously got the same problem on the other side. Oh, I've got them there. Got some paint on them, not much, but they've got it on. A little bit of color change there. You can select in this mode, just I find it much easier to do it. In here. Sometimes it's easier to go inside the mesh. It's a little bit there. But on a whole, it done an outstanding job. Now that we've fixed the weight paint, um, I'm going to remove these shape keys because they do nothing for all purposes. Next, I am going to take the mesh off the skeleton so that I can set the pose as reference pose. I'm going to use the script to extract the mesh. I'm going to go into pose mode. I'm going to remove that. Pause mode. So I use the quick menu a lot. If you're going to pause, apply and apply. Right click, you can assign it. And then you can just have it on your queue menu. I prefer it. Selecting them back together. I always like to test to make sure that it's back working. Test the pauses and make sure they're right. So now that we all up and running, it's going to be correct. Uh, next thing we need to do is fix the naming convention. If we have a look, we've all got a prefix and the names are wrong because they're on a CC character creator naming convention. 
or if we hit refresh, we pick Character Creator 3 because that's what I've done, and we hit Apply, then it will ring the end of them all for us. We have got CC Base Hip here. So if we go here, we've got the CC Base Hip. So this should be Pelvis. We're just going to change that. So now we're on the Pelvis. And we can get rid of this bone because we don't need it. Not the whole skeleton. That would be silly. Go into edit mode. Select the hip bone. Hit delete. Got to be in this window. The bone. So now we've got the correct hierarchy. Uh, we want to bring in the reference skeleton. You can obviously load this in manually. I'm just going to match its size up, just have it. So if we look, we can see the rules. If we look, we can see the rules are wrong. Now we can see our rules are correct. It'll only do the relevant bones, it doesn't do all bones. You won't need the reference skeleton anymore. We don't need the rolls on. Now that we're all set up, we shall bring in the armature. Match it up size just roughly. Make sure you select the transforms. Object apply all transforms, right click, add it to your quick favorites. Sorry, we're going to pause the skeleton. Maybe if we've got to pause the skeleton. You can see it goes into place. As long as it does that, you know you're right. Now go and extract the mesh. Don't need this skeleton anymore. This hold down and generate the rig. Don't need this. I'm going to bring the rig in front. I'm going to move the rig to the export folder. I'm going to move the mesh to the export folder. Select the mesh, select the rig, join them together. I'm going to generate the skeleton. I'm going to test it. That may have wanted some a little less. Bill had some weird paint on an arm somewhere. Now this is the point where me personally, I would add, add the mesh to the asset manager. As a browser rather. So I'm just going to grab them. Mark as asset. And then I'm going to grab the armature. I'm also going to mark it as asset. So now I've got these this character saved in here, and then I would assign it to my actual asset browser. I do believe I have a video on that? So now we all ready. The reason I do that is because once you do the next part, you can't come back over and it's no longer compatible with the rig. It has a warning here, so now I'm going to do the UE mannequin rules. And as you can see, once we've selected these two, we actually have the correct rules on the mannequin now. Now we need Unreal Engine. Now, I use the pipeline to export to Unreal Engine, so I'd open up the dialog. And in the export, I'd make sure that only deform bones is ticked. On the import, I'd tell it to launch the FPX UI. 
and on the validations, I will turn off the skill. In Unreal Engine, you will need to go to Plugins, Python, make sure they both turned on, Project Settings, Python, make sure they ticked. It'll get your import up. Click the mannequin. Now, if you do happen to get an error like I just did, I cancelled the import, didn't do it. And then I'm going to import it again. But this time, I'm not going to pick a skeleton. I'm going to have a look at the hierarchy. And we can see we have two roots. So we have a problem there. So back in Blender. Select the skeleton, set the root. We can see we've got two roots here. So I'm just going to select all, select the root ball that's wrong, edit mode, delete the wrong root ball. Once you've deleted the mesh, again out of Unreal Engine, we'll go back to Central Unreal. This time we're going to select. Unreal Engine Mannequin again. And this time it's worked as it expected. So I'm just going to go viewport. There's more. I'd say straight away his feet are bent a little bit. That's the rules on the bones. left as you can see that fixed the rule I'm just going to go up the other foot As you can see with the rules fixed, it's very easy with export. You can just make your alterations, see where it goes. Shoulders look a little bit off. You would alter them in exactly the same way. Hope this helps somebody and have fun.